What we're going to do now is to show you how to print or email statements which show what your customer owes you according to your records and which we can send to your customer and they can check that what you say they owe is what their books and records record. It may be that there's a difference and it may be that's why you haven't been paid for that invoice that's six weeks outstanding. In order to send a statement, we click on print or email statements and it comes up and says are they to be printed or to be emailed. I'll click to be printed. There are two types of statements. There is the invoice statement and there is the activity statement. We have a choice. The invoice statement shows which invoices are still outstanding together with any invoices that are partially paid and credit notes that have not been offset. We can choose our statement date, whether we do this at the end of the month or as at today's date. We will only include invoices up to the statement dates and we'll print one statement per customer. What I would then do is to go down and say which customers do I want to print my statements for. I'll just select my customer number two. And then all I have to do is to click print. I'll get the usual things like print setup, which I should have changed a long while ago in settings, but we'll print anyway. The printer I'm going to use is the PDF printer. In this way, I can get a copy of the statement and attach it to a letter of explanation and send that out with it. A bit more professional than just putting the statement into the, uh, into the uh, mail and sending it out with a couple of thousand others. All I'll do now is click print. I'll save it on my desktop so I can get it very easily and I'll change the name to customer number two or my customer number two. Click save and I'll now be able to find it on my desktop. This actually opens it up for me and it gives me there a list of all the sales I have made, the credit I've included for $1,100 which was offset and the other sales for $3,550 and $500. Obviously I would need at some stage to go in and change the, uh, the layout. I'm going to be using a pre-printed form to do this. It also mentions down here the finance charges and it gives me the monthly and overdues. So the 5,400 will be overdue by a number of months, the 500 a few months less on the pre-printed forms. Having got the statement up on the screen and saved it, I can then attach it to an email and send it off to my customer. All I have to do now is to close and I can now go back to print email statements again and this time we're going to go through the activity statement. What I've got here I've already preset it to activity from the 1st of July 2012 to the 8th of March today's date 2013 and this will give me a record of everything that happened during that period. If I wanted one from a say the last two months it would start with the opening balance two months ago from whatever day I said. If we've agreed a date with our customer to start all we have to do is to do a statement from that date and he can see what invoices he's received against the invoices we've sent him. In order to print one of these all I have to do is tick against the customer I want to send, click print, select the printer, again a PDF printer and I'll change the name of the print job to MyCust2 July to now and save it. Up on my screen is a copy of what will fill out the pre-printed template I use. It shows me all the invoices that have been raised it shows me what they were, a sale, the amounts that I've charged him and the running total of what he actually owes me. 
I also have room in there to put in a finance charge for overdue payments. Currently probably about $25 a statement. In this case, we're trying to negotiate on what he actually owes me. I won't charge him a finance charge this time, but I'm fully aware that there are a lot of places that do charge finance charges one way or the other for statements if they're not paid. Having saved that to the uh, desktop, all I have to do now is to close this PDF and I'm back on my command centre for sales in MYOB.